Hello YouTube, I'm here to talk about RFIDs and how they're now starting to put them in our credit cards and um, credit cards and debit cards and I'm going to show you a way to uh, deal with them how to take them out. Now you're probably asking what is RFID it stands for radio frequency identification and really essentially it's just a form of tracking and uh, uh, it monitors what you buy and how much is it and so forth and so on and one of the reasons why I don't like RFIDs is because um, it is hackable it, it, it's another for another way to get your identity stolen and um, a lot of people don't really know about it but you can get an RFID reader and just walk among a crowd and just steal a bunch of IDs and on this RFID chip which I'm going to show you once I punch it out <coughs> I'm going to show you the chip and basically it holds all the information that a bank would have on your account it'll have like your your name your bank account number and so forth and uh, I talked to my bank and they said I don't know if it's true but they told me that it has your social security number and your address so basically it's it's um, you know it's it's just waiting to be hacked so I'm gonna show you a quick little way to um, deal with it how to punch it out as I did on my debit card I punched a hole out all you need basically is just a hole puncher and a little marker to to kinda mark out where you need to punch now I'm gonna have to set this down here shortly cause I'm gonna well one of the ways you can tell with your card <clears throat> is you flip the back of your card and if it has these little markings here these little wave patterns here that means you have an RFID reader or an RFID chip so a reader will be able to pick it up so if you look at my debit card it has the little markings there it has blink some of them will say like uh, pay pass or pay as you go uh, but but if you have these little little wavelengths right here that means you have the chip so I'm going to show you essentially how to deal with um, an RFID chip. So I'm going to set this camera down and I'm going to see if I can mark the chip because you have to kind of tilt it in angles to kind of see a little square pattern which I think you can see it right there but let me let me mark it here real quick here. So let me angle it and yeah I can kind of make it out a little hard to see but okay so let me mark it it's usually going to be uh, uh, right above your little wavelength pattern and that's that's about where I saw if, like I said if you hold it in angles in the light you'll be able to see a little tiny little tiny square and that's where your chip is so let me go ahead and punch it out here let me see if I can get this lined up for the camera here oops and then you just squeeze it there and punch it all the way through makes the little hole perfect there now let me see if I can pull this chip out and show you a little chip here let's see if I punched it out right and yep here it is there is the little RFID chip let me see if I can get it into better focus here Sorry, I'm a little, these things are real tiny, so it's kind of hard to get it lined up. Dang it. Well, you get the idea. There's the chip, and that's, 
that's where it was right in there and I've already tested it out <clears throat> and this card does work my debit card so punching out the chip it won't affect the card itself from working you know it'll, it'll continue continue to work um, I'll do uh, another video on RFID chips and um, you know just tell you a little bit more about them and why you really need to keep your eye on RFID chips and how to deal with them so give it a thumbs up if you if you like this or put in a comment no problem and uh, and if you like to subscribe and hear more about these things and uh, I'll get give you some more information thank you